This uh, is a very potable red that he's left. <laughs> As is this one. That uh, Fergal has left for Paul. Not very close with this. Uh, that's a bit unlucky. He tried to leave himself on the black when freeing it. He covered the pink. The other red's covering the blue. And it'll have to be green. But the Masters always Four. seems to throw up something a bit special. An always Five. close final, certainly for the last four years. Matthew Stevens beating Ken Doherty 10-8 last year. John Higgins beat Ken Doherty 10-8 the year before. And then that 1998 final, Mark Williams beating Ten. Stephen Hendry on a re-spotted black. So we've had some thrilling finals here. Twenty four. Paul Hunter's average shot 25. time down below <coughs> twenty seconds now. 19 seconds, and he's really getting on with it now. That's his help with the two century breaks. got to try and leave himself an angle on something this time to try and get into the reds. <laughs> don't think 32. Well, I was going to say, I don't think he's got the pace, but he's really just about perfect. It just rolled on and now <coughs> full in the face in, of the pink. Doesn't have to bash this too hard, just a nice pace. Didn't get it full. But he might be all right. Maybe the red near the black will be on. Keep his concentration. 46. That's why it's such a difficult game. There's absolutely nothing you can do while you're in your seat. You've got to just watch there as your opponent clears the balls up. <coughs> 53. Just four and a half minutes for this effort. As you see, red and black, and we'd be all square. Yeah. 
two and a half thousand people thoroughly enjoying every shot. Well, Paul Hunter's very good friends with Jimmy White. And Jimmy White's got the high break at the moment with 136. And if my calculations are right, if he gets three more blacks, 85. He could equal Jimmy's high break. 86. 93. 94. <laughs> Paul and Jimmy might be very good friends, but not friendly enough for Jimmy White to share £20,000 with him. But this is a great performance. He may have gone too hard. He may have gone a bit too far. 109. Still see the yellow, but more difficult to hold for the green now. How would you like to play this one for ten thousand pounds? It would look to have been a little bit straighter. Shh, please, gentlemen. Brilliant, brilliant clearance by Paul Hunter. And what a bounce there is in his step, and I'm sure the audience know that he's just equaled that high break. And he's brought the match level of eight frames each. 